Good morning. It's another beautiful day in Wisconsin, and we're going to pour some concrete into these ICF forms today. We have a few things left to do to get buttoned up and ready, and uh, we'll show you that and show you the pour. We screwed the deck ledger to the ICF and put those little plywood pieces on the J-bolt heads to hold the J-bolts in place when we do the pour so the concrete doesn't push them out and cut squares around the J-bolts so the concrete completely encases the J-bolt. We added forms in the inside to allow for the concrete floor to penetrate over top of the form and out to the door threshold. What do you think, John? Ready? Getting forward. This is a very narrow site and we couldn't get the cement truck around the entire perimeter. So we're using a pump truck. It doesn't take very long for the pump truck to get set up before the concrete arrives. And then we just start pumping concrete into the forms in two separate what they call lifts so about three foot deep or three foot high uh, we'll do it twice John's getting all of the concrete into the into the forms and I'm following up with him with a, a vibrator and so every few feet I'm sinking that vibrator and uh, tip down in there and getting all of the concrete to settle in and get rid of all of the air. And you'll see when we get down to this corner, I vibrated that a little bit too strongly and we had a blowout at the bottom. And you can see us hustling with the plywood uh, blowout kit and we screwed that on and it really wasn't that bad. It's only about a, a bucket or two of, of concrete there lying on the ground. And it stopped oozing, so we were able to just let it set up. We did have a little bit of a, an implosion on the inside as the concrete pushed the corner out a little bit, but it looked like it stopped, and it looks like the concrete set up, so we just decided to keep on moving. And now we're doing the second pour, the second lift. Uh, another concrete truck had come to give us this, and I think you can hear from the vibrating. I started toggling the vibrator so that it wasn't over vibrating the concrete and we didn't have any more blowouts. Then we just have to get all of the tops moved off. And that took a little bit of time, especially around the door thresholds that I showed you earlier. It's really, really fussy. I'm not sure I would do it again if I had the to build a, an ICF wall like this again. John's down in the pit turning all of the uh, braces to get the walls aligned and I'm using a, a block to, to measure. The pour is done. John's setting J-bolts. We added a little bit more bracing just in case. And then 24 hours later, we're taking off all of the bracing and forms. And honestly, if you go slowly and think it through, you really can learn how to do this from a, from a YouTube channel. That was a really nice cage for transport and storage of all of this system. It fit in there really neatly. It was dropped off on site. The ICF manufacturer rented that to us. So you can see now where the concrete floor is going to meet the door thresholds. And that's it. See you on the backfill.